On today's episode, I'm going to be talking to you about eight toxic foods that are banned in other countries, but surprisingly not in the U.S. of A. And so this is shocking. I, I remember years ago reading some of these articles and research and finding that in areas in Europe and places like New Zealand and Japan, there were all of these things that were banned by those countries, but were allowed to be in the food and the skincare and body products in the U.S. that were legal, but they had even been linked to severe side effects such as hypothyroidism, autoimmune disease, cancer, organ failure, and a whole lot more. So prepare to be surprised by some of the things I share with you today. By the way, hey, help me spread this message. There are people still eating these foods, even some of them labeled as health foods, and people do not know that these foods are toxic to their body. So take a minute right now, help me spread this message. Take a minute and punch your share button, click your love button. Let's help spread the word on the foods that we all should be staying away from on a regular basis. So let's jump into point number one here, farmed salmon. Now listen, I wrote an article a few years ago talk that was titled, Tilapia is worse for you than bacon. We know tilapia is actually the most commonly, along with salmon, most common farm-raised fish available on the market today. And farm-raised fish, just think about this, they swim in a really small enclosed area, and the diet that they're fed is full of, and by the way, on my article, I actually have a list of the foods they're fed of fish feed, but it's gen genetically modified corn, genetically modified soy, sugar, hydrogenated oils, and that's pretty much it. That's what they eat, and actually food colorings and other chemicals, that's what these fish eat. When those fish eat all those toxins, remember this principle, you are what you eat what they ate. If a cow eats grasses, they're full of omega-3s, reduces inflammation. If a cows eat a eat grains and GMO corn, they're full of omega-6 fats, they cause inflammation, same with fish. If fish feed on other fish and, and algae and bugs and these things that are real food for them, their tissues are typically full of, like salmon, their tissues are full of omega-3 fats. In fact, salmon, if it's wild caught, is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods on the planet, but farm-raised salmon contains high levels of dioxins and PCBs, which have been linked to liver and kidney failure and, and cancer. So liver failure, kidney failure, cancer from farm-raised fish. Stay completely away from farm-raised fish. And this might surprise you. A lot of times when you're eating out, you might see salmon on the menu, okay? Well, if it says Atlantic salmon, you know that it's farm-raised. Most Pacific, Alaskan, those are wild-caught salmon. Sockeye, king salmon, those are the types of salmon you want to be getting in your diet. But Atlantic or farmed salmon, you do not want to be consuming because of the toxins, the dioxins, and the PCBs that live in salmon. And hey, help me spread this message because there are people out there eating fish think they're doing their body good, it's only doing your body good if it's wild caught. Another surprising one is dairy products. Now the dairy industry has been telling you for a long time that milk builds strong bones, milk is great for your body. I remember as a kid seeing that young boy drink the milk, I don't know if you remember this commercial, and he would be a little boy and then he would drink a glass of milk and he would look like this big, strong, strapping young guy. Uh, this is a joke, but it really was an illusion. That was all the hormones that made him grow that fast. But anyways, just to say this, there are chemicals like RBST and RBGH. This is recumbent bovine growth hormone. There are loads of steroids and growth hormones that are still found in our conventional dairy products today. And this is something that's actually banned in Europe, in Israel, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. And it's not just RBGH. There are a number of other steroids and growth hormones found in our dairy supply. Hey, Organic raw milk is fine. Coconut milk, almond milk, stay away from all conventional dairy. Make sure if you're buying dairy, it is certified organic or raised organically from a local farmer. Again, this is a big surprise for a lot of people. In fact, listen, there was a study found on our milk supply that actually said there are average of 21 chemicals and medications in your average glass of milk you'd buy at the convenience store. Again, go organic with dairy and help me spread the message with this. All right, Olestra. This is found in 
fat-free chips. Listen, when you see something that says low fat or no fat on a label, that typically means run in the other direction, okay? Typically, no fat and low fat products. There's actually, this is banned in the UK and Canada, but Olestra is found in fat-free chips. Um, I think it actually was banned in certain, there's actually a lot more countries it's banned in now, but Olestra actually was causing diarrhea and leaky gut syndrome, intestinal permeability, which we know over time can lead to other health issues. So Olestra, fat-free chips, again, it destroys the small intestine, the gut lining. Stay away from that chemical. It, it's a big no-no. Next one here. GMO papaya, and I want to mention this along with fat-free chips. When you're buying chips today, buy chips that are made with coconut oil or avocado oil. Those are probably the two most stable oils with chips. I like Jackson's Honest Chips. There's also, also brands that use avocado oil. Those tend to be more stable and better oils if you're going to buy potato chips. GMO papaya, this might surprise you. Now, maybe you don't eat a lot of papaya, but there's a lot of genetically modified foods. You wanna stay away from all GMO foods, but GMO foods, specifically papaya, is banned throughout the entire European Union. I wanna know, why aren't GMOs banned throughout the United States yet? They should be. We're actually changing the actual natural foods that God created for the worse. We're killing off bees, that's a whole nother topic. I don't wanna get into too big of a rant there. The next one here is BVO, that's, uh, that's brominated vegetable oil. This is, these are flame retardants. They're actually found in sports drinks and soda. So if you, there's a soda, I don't wanna mention a brand because I don't wanna get a letter in the mail from them, but a soda, and it's a bright yellow, greenish color. Those are flame retardants. It's brominated vegetable oil. They're adding to those chemicals. They're adding flame retardants to our kids' sports drinks into sodas today. BVOs, these have been linked to thyroid problems. They've been linked to intestinal inf inflammation throughout the entire body. We know most diseases today are inflammatory in nature. Arthritis is inflammation of your joints. Ulcerative colitis is inflammation of the colon. You know, a lot of kids today that struggle with ADHD, that part in part is caused by leaky gut syndrome, which then affects the brain. So BVO and these flame retardants absolutely contribute to all of those issues. So when you see a brightly colored slushy or a soft drink or soda or a sports drink, those are chemicals they add in. Some of them are flame retardants. Those are banned in the entire European Union, all over Europe. They're banned in Japan. They are still legal in the US today. It is crazy that this is still going on and possible. Number six, of course, smoking tobacco. Now, pr praise the Lord that so many of the restaurants today and bars and things have actually banned smoking because we know that secondhand smoke, not even doing it yourself, secondhand smoke has been linked to cancer. It's one of the biggest cancer causers. And actually, in uh, Butin, in Asia, an area of Asia, it's been completely banned altogether. And I, and I wouldn't argue that because think about how secondhand smoke, it's not just affecting the person smoking, it's affecting everyone around them. Number seven here, yellow number five and number six. I want to read off some of the side effects here of yellow number five. It's been linked to asthma, migraine headaches, thyroid cancer, anxiety, clinical depression, and skin inflammation over time. Again, when you're eating these cereals and different foods with yellow five and number six, for you and your kids, stay completely away from those. And last but not least, conventional chicken. When you're buying meat products, whether it be beef or chicken, go organic. Arsenic and chicken or conventional chicken is banned throughout the European Union. Arsenic is used in chicken feed today. We wanna to stay completely away from those pesticides, those chemicals. When you're buying chicken, turkey, any type of meat, if you go organic, you're gonna know it's not gonna contain those high levels of arsenic and other chemicals. We know excess ar arsenic actually can deposit in the brain and nerve tissue, causing neurological disease over time. It's something that you absolutely want to stay completely away from. So remember, stay away from these eight toxic foods. Listen, these are banned all over the world. They're just not banned in the US. And hey, do me a favor, help be on mission with me, help spread the message. There are 
millions of people across the U.S. that are being poisoned and they don't even know it. Let's let them know. Take a second right now. By simply sharing this, you might be saving someone's life. So stay away from farm salmon, conventional dairy, fat-free chips with Olestra, GMO foods such as GMO corn and papaya and soy, flame retardants, those brightly fake-colored uh, soft drinks, and sports drinks. Smoking tobacco, yellow number five, number six, and conventional meat products, especially arsenic laced chicken. Again, these things should be banned in the US. And listen, when we all band together as one and make our voices known, I guarantee you in the future, we're gonna see some of these things are gonna be banned because you spoke up, you shared this message, guys. Hey, don't forget, Monday through Friday, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, you're gonna see myself and my buddy Jordan Rubin teaching you how to use food as medicine. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with another episode tomorrow. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.